and welcome back to Queensland Weekender. Well, you can't come to the Great Barrier Reef without a visit to one of the many beautiful islands, but forget everything you think you know about an island getaway. What if I promised you a tropical paradise with no long travel times, no big bills and no crowds? Yes, such a place does exist. Surrounded by coral reef and covered by National Park, it's one of the most unspoiled islands on the Great Barrier Reef. While the island is a natural gem, it also offers a bounty of activities, from kayaking and snorkelling off pristine beaches, gorgeous resort facilities, to its very own Turtle Rehabilitation Centre. I bet you're dying to know where it is. Futura Island is the Great Barrier Reef's best kept secret. It is a, uh, it's a large island, 840 acres. We are where the reef meets the rainforest, so it's a real hidden gem. Glenn McDonald is the lucky man who gets to call this place his office. He's the manager at Fitzroy Island Resort and regularly makes use of the bushwalking tracks in his very own backyard. As we further move out of the rainforest, you start to see the granite tops here and we'll head up further to the uh, lighthouse in the summit, a little bit further up to the uh, observation point. So you can see how it changes and it's really, really pretty yeah. as we move forward. The island is 95% national park and offers five walking tracks for visitors to enjoy. The lighthouse summit truck we're on is the longest, at four kilometres or two hours return. Long way to the top. Only 7.50 <laughs> to go. It's a great way to take in the scenery, but hiding among the natural beauty is a little history. The lighthouse has um, got magnificent views directly out to the Great Barrier Reef, so the outer reef, and it has a uh, huge history back in World War II. It was actually an observation point for ships coming into Cairns Harbour. Wow. Any enemy ships, so... Uh, Really, really special up here. Today the island is making its own history as having one of the best vantage points on the entire Great Barrier Reef. Have a look, Sammy. <laughs> Breathtaking. Oh my very worth, goodness. Very worthwhile walk. Very worthwhile. Wow. Isn't that amazing? As far as the eye can see. Random 60 degrees. Wasn't lying. Glenn, you must never get tired of this view. This is my office. This is what I look at every day. It's just fantastic. Very relaxing, very tranquil. You know, the resort itself is, is magnificent itself. We've only just been operating for six years now. So the newest island resort on the Great Barrier Reef, something we're really proud of. We've got our own fringing reef directly out the front. We're very sheltered here and there's a lot to do. The resort also offers a very special experience that lets visitors get up close with a few of the island's locals. So this is Margaret, and Margaret's probably about 80, 90 years old. She's a green turtle. Hopefully in about six months' time, she'll be nice and fat, ready to be released back out into the wild and have many, many more years of making babies. Jenny Gilbert is the passionate founder of the Cairns Turtle Rehabilitation Centre. Hello, Louie. Oh, big scratch. Oh. The volunteer organisation cares for and rehabilitates sick and injured turtles from all over the reef. This is their final stage of rehabilitation. So when they're eating, diving, doing a turtling thing, being turtles. <laughs> being real turtles being again. Real turtles again. Then they come out to their resort. Yeah. And they have their nice. resort. Their yeah, little rehab, rehab resort. Rehab resort. And, and this is their final stage and then they're released. Jenny has dedicated the better part of her life to helping these gorgeous creatures. Look at that oh, beautiful face. She now offers daily tours of the centre to educate visitors about the plight of the turtle. They're a really beautiful animal. You know, they're, they're the number one species people want to see on the Great Barrier Reef. They're a keystone species for the reef and they're also an indicator of the ocean. But just to look at them, they're just a gentle sight. The resort has so many unique experiences for visitors and a holiday here doesn't come with the expected island price tag. A stay in one of the 99 rooms starts at an affordable $140 a night. Or you can pitch a tent at the beachfront campsite for just 35 bucks a night. Another unexpected surprise is Nudie Beach. But the only surprise here is that everybody's fully clothed. It was named after Captain Nudie and it's one of the best spots on the island to go for a snorkel right off the beach. It's not hard to see why this spot has made it on the list of the top 10 most beautiful beaches in Australia. And it's just a picturesque 20-minute walk from the resort. A 
And when it comes to the end of the day, Foxy's Bar is the place to be. You can sit here, listen to the waves lap the shore, take in the surroundings. That's got to be the perfect way to while away the afternoon. Come nightfall, Zephyr's Restaurant dishes up the fresh catch of the day. And let me tell you, the meals are just as spectacular as the views.